Welcome to SACT, everybody. Today we are looking at nature versus nurture and epigenetics. Do you think a criminal is born that way? Or do you think he is a product of the way he was brought up? And do you think if you grew up alone on a deserted island, would you learn to talk or walk? These type of questions are part of the age-old debate of are we the product of our genetics or that of our environment? Francis Galton is credited for coining this term, nature versus nurture. From our nature perspective, we are looking at those biological, innate, genetic predispositions and what are the contributions of heredity to our physical structure and behaviours. The nurture perspective, however, looks at environmental factors and things like our experiences and our upbringing. However, psychologists today recognise that both nature and nurture play a role in all aspects of our behaviour. This interaction of our genetics and environment is called epigenetics. Epi meaning above genetics and explores our gene environment interactions. Meet Claire and Chloe. They are identical twins, therefore having the same DNA. However, Chloe has exposed herself continuously in the sun. She smokes and drinks and therefore her physical attributes have aged quicker. This illustrates that even by having identical genotypes such as in identical twins, it does not guarantee identical phenotypes or observable characteristics. This can be altered by our environment and choices such as diet and lifestyle. Experiments in mice again illustrate the interaction of genes and environments, in this case a mother's diet. All mammals have a gene called a gooty, and when this gene was turned on by the mother's diet, her offspring were yellow and obese. When it was turned off, they were brown and normal weight. This example illustrates how environmental influences can change the way our genes are turned on or off or expressed. Epigenetic changes happen throughout our lives, and the good news is our choices can make a real difference on how we develop and the influence of our nature and nurture. 